hello welcome today i want to show you guys how i use my planner and how i have it set it up for 2021 so this is my hobonichi day free version as i've showed in the last video it only has a yearly and a monthly part and notes pages where i made my weekly layouts it's sort of like a bullet journal style i have covered the cover <laughs> with a design I have made and printed on sticker paper. I really did not like the, the blue of the original paper cover. So this is the year at a glance page. I haven't made much with it. I know some people use a sticker kit on it to hide the writing and the, the last year and stuff but I don't want to use a lot of stickers in this planner so I've kept it really simple I only put down some close family birthdays and to be honest I don't really use this anyway so yeah I don't care now this one more, it's more interesting to me. This is the yearly overview on four pages. This is the second half of the year. And it's three months per page. And I personally use this as a sort of monthly chore tracker. Like, I have here written down some things that I want to be done on the regular. At certain intervals or sometimes I just want to remember that I've done it the highlighted lines are like just trash collection days and um, the squares are when I want something to be done like if it's like on a three-week interval or something I put a square there and then when I've done it I cross it off like some some things don't have like a plan like laundry for example i just make a cross when i've done it when it's like necessary but i don't plan it okay so this is my monthly page or at least this month's page in here i have first of all a tracker here for some personal things that I like to keep track of on a monthly basis and I have here wait I have a to-do list for for the month like if I don't uh, for, for things that have not that don't have a specific like day I just just stuff I want to be done this month. This over here is just little doodles I make for like memorable things of the month and I did it last year and I want to continue. Otherwise this month the month is what I use for planning. In the squares I basically do all of my planning I note down birthdays special days holidays events but obviously also like appointments and other timed events and I also I also track my bills when specifically they are due and such I I use a sort of color coding system I guess that I've had for a while and I know what colors means what so it's easy for me and I might do some more decorations than like just one sticker or something. Also, this is next month, February, and all I did was just some washi. So, yeah. I do like, for my actual planning, I do like the rather minimalist and functional look of this where I don't use like a sh 
ton of stickers. Okay, so now after the months we have my the notes pages. I only started in week two. This is what I did for the first week. It's sort of like hmm, I'd say it's sort of like a Hubunichi weeks layout where I have the days and the month and info and then I have some daily stuff that I like to track and my nutrition a to-do list which is sort of like a I think um, like a modified Alistair method or something but I, I, I must have seen it somewhere like I've, I've been doing this for like two years or something but I must have seen this somewhere obviously and this is just notes pages which currently I use for uh, tarot readings on the weekly and stuff this will be the first month uh, week of February and I changed the layout a bit it's more like a uh, like a cousin layout I think we'll see how I like it and if I change the layouts in uh, following months like I don't know now this are uh, like some collection pages like in a mm, in a bullet journal I have a very very simple reading log this year just title and if I were like the star rating for my star rating same for watching log I have watched much this year but I, I actually like I looked at this and I'm like I've read six books and it's only January so I've been I've been reading a lot this year so this is just a work log for certain things like client commissions and stuff now this this is important for me this spread I uh, come back to and reference often this is a spread for all our subscriptions and recurring monthly or quarterly or yearly bills and I have the specific subscription the amount the bill and I have like the year or all the months and I check off if I when I when it's been like paid because I am notorious for forgetting if I've missed a month or if it has already been paid this month and stuff so this is important for me I reference it often that's why I have like a, a tab on here this I'm not sure yet if I will actually use it's a social media tracker for just just some in interesting stuff uh, and uh, like stats but to be honest I'm not sure if I will even like use this throughout the year because I don't find it that interesting okay now I have some some pages left this is something I have seen on another channel Kati's plans I think I will I will put the link to her channel in the description it is just a very very simple budget tracker just for like a few categories like I just want to track stuff that I buy for myself and uh, no spent days or stuff that I buy for my spouse or groceries and stuff it, this is very simple I do have a a much more complicated elaborate budgeting system on Google Sheets where I have like a sheet where stuff gets like added and uh, subtracted automatically with a lot lot of category it's a lot more complicated but this I just wanted to have an overview over my own spending basically for like stuff that is unnecessary because I do I do uh, plan on um, 
going low spend this year not no spend because that's i i can't but low spend however i'm not sure yet well if, it's not that i don't think i can do it the thing is i've done low spend years for the last few years so I, yeah anyway i mean if i had a super lot spend year like last year or the year before that then i could go no spend or low spend because i i have stuff right but i haven't i have had a very low spend year for the last five years or something so yeah anyway i might use i i have pre-planned all the um weeks so i know how much space i need and the rest i might use for a sort of like travel log if we are allowed to travel a lot again which i don't know i mean i'll probably have to wait a few months for that so yeah um this is my blotting paper by the way i really need it with this tomo river paper because the ink just sits on the page for a while and uh, i have to blot it away to not smear it anyway as you can see i i do not use a lot of stickers i have used some in my weeklies but not a lot i like the uh, minimal look also i don't actually have a lot of stickers i have like let's see here this is my cover for the this is pretty much the extent of all the stickers i have so yeah i, I have like 10 washi uh, tapes so yeah anyway i don't use a lot of stickers i might at some point but i don't think so it will probably be even less as the year progresses and um, yeah i hope you liked seeing how i use my hobonichi day free planner Please don't forget to like and I will see you next time. Bye!